Hello, this is an FPS boost guide for CS2. So firstly, what you want to do is go over to settings, go over to video and then advanced video. And over here, you should see this panel here. And this is where all the settings are. So for multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode, you should do two times MSAA. For global shadow quality, you want to put it to high because you want to see the shadows. If you put it any lower, you won't be able to see the player shadows. For model and texture detail, this is up to you. You can put it to low, medium or high. I put it to medium because I've got skins and it makes it look a lot better. For texture filtering mode, put it to two times. Shader detail, this also affects shadows, so I'll put it to high. It affects the player shadows as well. Particle detail, I'll put it to medium so I can see traces. Ambient occlusion, I'll put it to medium so the game looks better. But if you want a lot more FPS, put it to disabled. High dynamic range, you want to put it to performance. Fidelity FX Super Resolution, I put it to disabled, but if you put it on, it makes it so everything looks blurry. So I think disabled is the best for competitive. Nvidia Reflex Low Latency, I put it to enabled. First, test out enabled, otherwise test out enabled plus boost because it lowers your import delay. So once you've done that, keep it to that and then that should be it. Also, I've got another application for you guys. If you want to have a lower input delay, download timer resolution, open it. The link will be in the description for this app. What you want to do is click on maximum. Make sure when you press maximum, it says 0 0.5, not 0 0.496 or anything. So press it again, 0 0.5. This should make your game feel a lot more crisp and smooth. And that is everything you need for higher FPS in CS2.